The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. The Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all.
I have lost the spell. How do you do? Right, casting. Focus. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. My weapon isn't working. Greetings. Blasted. I've lost... It is unharmed. Charmed, I'm sure. I lost the spell. It's not working! Ah, my spell! What does it take to kill these things? You're in my way. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't be foolish. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pup, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Oh no, I left them in Amaranthine, well away from the fighting in the south. They do send their best wishes. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. 
I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Well, Duncan, he is not interested. So unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription... Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? And don't strain my patience. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt, spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Yes? The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuations. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. Your father's permissiveness has made you willful, indeed. It may not always serve you so well. We fought together under King Marek when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. It will be good to ride beside your father again. Your father hasn't spoken of our time with him? That man took care of his friends. As they say, he was large as life and twice as tall. <laughs> it's too bad Kalen isn't half that. I think of him as much as he thinks at all. That's enough, Hal. You speak of our king. Oh, the boy did ask, your lordship. As per the latitude you allow, I merely offered my opinion. Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. In a manner of speaking, if I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess, my confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. I thank you. That is... quite unnecessary. Shouldn't you be off to your brother, as I ask? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems. But I want you to prepare the men left here, in case. Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These Darkspawn once threatened many lands. If we can't hold them, you must prepare for the worst.
The thought scares me too. But we are Kuzlan men, and we must be brave. But let's not speak of ominous things. We shall assume that all will go well, and the Maker will watch over us. Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlan name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Saying goodbye to Oriana and your nephew. I'll talk to you soon. Just let me finish my meeting with Duncan. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Your father has left you in charge of the castle? Then I will see you at dinner tomorrow, if not sooner. Then let us meet in the morning. I will seek you out before Sir Gelmore's testing. Would that be sufficient? Eager are you? As I've had a long journey, I will be retiring to my quarters and putting these old bones to rest. Until the morning, then, I look forward to it. The castle is so eerie with everyone preparing to ride south. It will be so empty. We will serve you well while the Terran is gone. All right, all right! Good evening, my lord. Good evening, my lord. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. There may not be another time. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. I cannot. Many await my attendance before they march into the unknown. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. Got it.
I'll get on it. Oh, my lord, we were just, uh... Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. The Tern, and perhaps the Tanner? Honestly, don't know, my lord. Yes, my lord. Thank you. We won't forget this. There you are. Your mother told me the Tern had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? She was entertaining Lady Landra and her son when I left her, perhaps in the atrium? Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Ordmore like the reputation of the Grey Wardens as mythical warriors is unsurpassed. Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Maybe. Have mercy. Is he asking after me or not? Maker's breath. Are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. What? That monster is in my larder, slobbering all over the bacon, and you're insulting me? Oh dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. We'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! Now's better than later. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Ugh. <laughs> 
It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Did you hear that? Target practice, anyone? Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. I've seen larger. They come up from the Kakari wilds sometimes. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. All right, all right. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. I see you haven't changed. Perhaps it would benefit you to join our lesson. Wonderful. Oh, the Kuzland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Well, records are vague, but the Kuzlands became Tians during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. I expect one who holds sway over the lives of others to keep a sharp mind, as does your father. At any rate, your family has held the tournier of High Ever since before King Callanhad united Ferelden. In fact, 
Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanhad to maintain Hyever's independence. Kalanhad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanhad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanhad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanhad's army reached Hyever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanhad won. The history between the Kuslans and the Haus reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During your grandfather's rule, of course, Orlay found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orlay, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orlay. Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. Your grandfather couldn't afford to lose Harper's Ford. In keeping the town, your family drove or lay from its lands. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan to fight the Darkspawn. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't let myself all this one to you. Good evening, my lord. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Got it. Good evening, my lord. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? Ah, oh, marvellous. Just the thing for my guests to hear right before dinner. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. I'm so proud of my pup's mastery of tact and diplomacy. Well, it was a lovely salon, from what little I remember. <laughs> Which wouldn't be much, considering we had to pour you into the carriage afterwards. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. Don't be rude. Dyron is riding with your father, and I'm going to spend some time with Lady Landra while he's gone. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. 
But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Keep it that way. You've enough to do here at the castle without chasing Darkspawn. I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? You are here. Trust me, you'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me, but it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Delightful. Then there's no argument. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? You've grown up so fast. And now Bryce is leaving you in charge of the castle. I suppose there's no point in dwelling on it. Go do what you must, then. I will see you soon. Good evening, my lord. Now's better than later. I'll get on it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. <laughs> when there's a woman in your life, you'll understand. Bold words, little brother. I mean a real woman, not a turn in the straw. Fergus, language! You like to play in the stable too, Uncle? I like to hide in the hay. Don't you listen to this. If I catch you with your clothes full of straw again, I'll send you to Mother Malol. But Mama, she talks forever. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Oh, if I were a Grey Warden, little brother, I'd have my eye on you. 
Not that father would ever allow it. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. And miss having both my children in one place before I leave? Not likely. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Rice, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? I agree. Especially if you get yourself hurt. I will never forgive you. Now that is a good incentive, wouldn't you say? <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Getting sent to bed early, are we? I'd rather that too. May it be fun fighting side by side. Maybe next time. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. If you should need any assistance in the coming days, I would be glad to offer it. Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Uncle? But you're my uncle. What else could I call you, silly? Your uncle no doubt thinks it makes him sound too old, Oren. But he is old, but not as old as you, Mama. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Uncle? Then I can fight evil too. Take that, dire bunny. All dark spawn. Fear my sword of truthiness. We're teaching him about honesty. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. Best do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Ah, I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear.
My lord, help me! The castle is under attack! Fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? They never got through the door, thanks to you. Her scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? If Howe is behind this, I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. The enemies ahead. Where is everyone at? men must be everywhere. I am not made of porcelain. We are already in danger. Now let's do something about it. The front gates. That's where your father must be. Listen, darling. We haven't much time. If we can't find your father, you must get out of here alive. Without you and Fergus, the entire Kusen line dies here. If Howe's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants' entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Then survive and visit vengeance upon him. Has fallen. I'm getting out of here. Yes, my lord. Here, here they come. Ah. 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 Got him. Ah. Ah. I'll get on. Ah. I'll ah. kill them all myself. Ah. Ah. Get out of my way! Oh. Oh. 
I'll get on it. I do not fear death. You Watch I have nothing else to lose. Rip you apart. Something is coming. All right, all right. Man the gates. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hell's men had gotten through. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hell's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sir Gilmore. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. Oh, 
bandages. Do you have any? Can I get you a ladder? <laughs> There, you both are. I was... Bryce! ...wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding! Owl's men... ...found me first. Almost... ...did me in right there. He can't... ...get away with this! The King will... Bryce, we must get you out of here. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah. My boy. If only Will could make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... ...must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. House men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My youngest son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I did not wish to leave your father alone. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me, but I beg you. Take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. Truthfully, you were always my first choice. I will take the Tirner and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We will inform the King, and he will punish Hal. I am sorry. But a Grey Warden's duties take precedence even over vengeance. Hal thinks he'll use the chaos to advance himself. Make him wrong, pup. See that justice is done. Our family always does our duty first. The Darkspawn must be defeated. You must go. For your own sake and for Ferelden's. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side, to death and beyond. I'm just so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. And know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go, now. Goodbye, darling.
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times. But here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other Wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. How knows his actions will cost him his life, but I'll need an army to bring him to justice. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens.